Hi everyone, I am so excited about today's video because I have got a full box of goodies from the new Ad Bamelian Signature Collection by Studio Light and um, today I'm just going to show you everything that's in this new collection. I want to start off with the art journals. Uh, she's got some beautiful new art journals in her new collection. This is the largest one. Malene calls this her artist size one. As you can see, this one's got a beautiful design on the cover with the elastic band around it and of course the zip pouch in front. And each art journal contains 30 sheets of uh, watercolour paper. Then I've got the second one right here. This is the uh, medium sized one. Uh, Marlene calls this a perfect size one. I can see why, because it's a beautiful handy size. It's a little bit bigger than uh, the small journal from um, the previous collection. I will show you that in a minute. And this one also got the zip pouch in the front uh, to keep your things in while you uh, work on other pages. And I'm just lined them on top of each other so you can see the difference in size. I also got the small one from a previous collection here and I just wanted to show you this one uh, together with the others just so you can see the difference in all three sizes. Next, I have got some beautiful new uh, die cut blocks. Uh, there's two new ones in her uh, new collection. The first one that I'm showing you uh, contains a lot of flowers, um, all really bright and beautiful again, as we are all used of uh, by Marlene. And as you can see, every design you get it twice, two sheets of each design. And it's not just flowers, I see some beautiful whimsical girls and a quote in there as well. And the second one, this one seems to contain a few more um, animals. Um, it's got a bit of a sea theme to it as well. Look, there's a mermaid again, crab some adorable animals I can see myself making some cards with it um, as you can see some of the images are quite large as well which I love for the bigger sized uh, journals as you can see the mermaid here is about the size of my hand and what I love about these new die cut blocks is when you push the images out it doesn't have a white edge as where the old uh, die cut blocks from the previous collections had that white edge when you push them out. I will show you one of the um, die cut blocks from a previous collection here and you can see that white line around the fox. It didn't always bother me uh, but I did end up cutting a lot of those white lines off um, so this is a big improvement for me since I don't really like fuzzy cutting. Um, there's three new cling stems in um, this collection. Uh, first of all I'm showing you floral escape and the doodle flower and then next the painterly flower. All the uh, stamps have got uh, names now so it's a bit easier to refer to. Um, if you see one that you want to get it's easy to look them up. Um, then, really, really new in the collections uh, from Art Bameline are the texture stamps. Um, I've got one here, I'll take it out. As you can see, the really flexible uh, red rubber stamps. Uh, this one's got text on it, it's really versatile. Um, you can use it pretty much anywhere. And then this one, I'll take it out because you can't really see it because of the reflection of the light in the cellophane. Uh, but this one's got beautiful flower uh, texture on it. These will be perfect for just about any uh, background. Then there is of course um, some uh, clear stamps in this new collection. I will show you all of these. There's a little chubby chick on there and uh, some check there are some texture stamps uh, that you can use on your art journal pages um, 
this one I will look to mix and match set. Um, what I love about this is that you can use the heads and you can swap them around so you get a different girl every time. And it's also been designed so the heads of every uh, clear stamp set fit on each other girls. So you can see the little turning girl in here and heads will fit on her uh, little body as well. And uh, you've got the speech bubble stamps which I love um, and here they are the whimsical sea creatures I love that little blowfish and seahorse uh, they're so beautiful um, I can see myself doing another mermaid page there <laughs> and then uh, last there is the bohemian flower stamp really beautiful whimsical flowers in there Then I am going off to the um, collage paper. I have not seen collage paper by Art Family and myself before because they sold out in the previous collection so fast and now I see these I can see why. Just the pages by itself are a real artwork uh, on its own. It's almost, <laughs> it almost feel bad to uh, to cut them up and use them on your pages, but I will do that in uh, some videos. Anyway, at least I'm gonna try, because yeah, these beautiful uh, colors, they add um, interest uh, to your page straight away by just sticking it on, cutting it out and sticking it on your page. Um, all the pages are designed by Art by Marlene. And they've got all pretty colours as we used from her. As you can see, every uh, design you get it twice in every block. And the paper, what I like, is really, really thin. Um, so when you use it in your journal, it won't bulk up uh, straight away. Um, and it will be easy to work on top on um, just because it's not big and chunky then what I really really love what I was really looking forward to is the new uh, watercolor set and uh, the one from the previous collection was the bold and bright watercolor set and this is the whimsy and bright watercolor set as it says on top of the tin uh, which is good because then you can tell them apart uh, from just the tin itself. Um, I'm going to take them out and I am going to show you all the beautiful colours that are in here. So I took the Bold and Bright watercolour set which I've done swatches for in my uh, last unboxing video. And what I want to do is I want to compare the Whimsy and Bright watercolour set to uh, the previous one and uh, see how it complements uh, yeah, this other set. So I'm just going to do some swatches for you. The first colour that we see here, it is called uh, Bumblebee, uh, Bumblebee Fling. Um, it's a little bit of a lighter colour um, than a yellow one in the uh, uh, bold and bright uh, watercolour set and then we have Indian Summer Ginger Biscuit and these are colours that we haven't seen in uh, the bold and bright watercolour set yet I think these are a beautiful addition. The next colour is kind of red, it's called uh, Wine Time. Um, once it dries it is almost a bit purplish. It's really like red wine stain so uh, yeah, name is perfect for this one. This one's called Red Alert. And I love all the uh, funny uh, names uh, that Marlene came up with for all the colours in this new set. Like this one's got, uh, called Candy Floss Whispers, which is 
adorable, just like the colour is. A really nice and soft, um, really, really soft pink colour, as you can see. Then the last set had a couple of greens in it, um, but not like this one. This one's called Kiss the Frog. And it's a bit of a deeper uh, green like uh, than the ones in the last set. And there you go, the Mermaid Wishes, which might be um, one of my new favourites uh, of all the watercolours that I've got by uh, the Art by Meline, uh, Signature Collections. Then the next one is called Nighty Night, and it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, deep blue still really bright colour and then we've got Ocean Window I really love that there's a few more uh, blues added to this set uh, because there was one in the last set uh, that I have but it's uh, just not as bright and I really like having a few bright blue ones in my watercolour sets as well and um, this one's called Baby Breath. It's a really, really nice light blue, and I can imagine it looking really, really good with the candy floss wispies in the top right. And uh, last is Cloudy Day. It's a beautiful, deep, um, warm grey, and I'll show you all the colours together. Um, the colours from the Whimsy and Bright sets are not dry yet, so they will uh, look a little bit different once dry. But I think you get a Quite a good impression of all the colours uh, together. As I said before, this is a beautiful addition to uh, the last uh, collections. Um, I love how you can mix and match uh, with all the stamps. There's some texture stamps and I can't wait to create with collage paper. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!